in this problem we have this rectangular plate which is in x z plane and is horizontal and is supported by three wires at points a b and c of the plate and the plate is of 40 kilograms mass we have to find the tension in these three wires the first step in finding the solution is to draw a bd of the plate so here is the FBD, the weight W acting downwards. W is mg, m is 40, g is 9.81 meters per second square, and this will work out to 392.4 newtons. The weight is acting at the center of the plate therefore its coordinates x would be one half of this length which is 1500 mm so this will be 750 mm and z would be equal to one half of this length of the plate which is 1500 plus 750 which is 2250 Half of that would be 1125, so this is 1125 mm. So, for equilibrium, the net force acting on the plate should be zero. Not only that, the net moment about the x axis and the net moment about the z axis of all the forces should also be equal to zero. So, we will now first work out the net force along the y axis. So, sigma f y should be equal to 0. This is the first condition, and that will give us Ta. This is Ta, this is Tb, and this is Tc. So, T A plus T B plus T C minus W will be equal to 0. So, we can say T A plus T B plus T C equal to W. That is our first equation. We will now take the moment of all the forces about the z axis. So, moment of all the forces about the z axis should also be equal to 0. We will consider all anti-clockwise moments as positive. That is our sign convention. So, this will give us this is z axis. T c will produce a counterclockwise moment and therefore, it will be positive and the moment arm for T c will be 1500 mm. So, T c times 1500 T A and T B, these two forces are acting on the z axis itself, and therefore, we will have zero moment. The second moment will be of the weight W, and this will produce clockwise moment, and its moment arm would be X, which is 750 mm. So, we will have the negative moment of W times 750 equal to 0 and if we divide this equation by 750 we shall get 2 T C minus W or we can say 2 T C is equal to W. So, this is our second equation and now we will consider sum of moments about the x axis and that should be equal to 0 and the sign convention is anti-clockwise moment as positive and this will give us tension forces T A, T B and T C will produce clockwise moment like this as we see along the x axis. Like this, these three forces which are 
directed towards positive y axis will produce clockwise movement and w will produce an anti clockwise movement about x axis so we will have w and its moment arm will be z that is 1125 so w times 1125 The tension forces will have clockwise moment, therefore, the negative sign Ta times the moment arm for Ta is this distance, and that is 1500 plus 375, that is 1875. Minus Tb times this is 375, so Tb times 375 minus Tc. Tc will also produce clockwise movement, therefore the minus sign and this distance is 750. So Tc times 750 equal to 0. We divide the whole equation by 375 that will give us 5 Ta. We will take all these negative terms to the other side. So, we will have 5 Ta plus Tb plus 2 Tc equal to 3 W. So, this is our third equation. So, now we have these three equations and three unknowns Ta, Tb and Tc. So, we should be able to solve for them. So, now from second and third equation, this equation and this equation, we will be able to eliminate Tc. We will have 5 Ta plus Tb. And in place of Tc, we will put in W. So, this will be plus W and we have 3W here. So, this will be equal to 2W. Let us call this our fourth equation. And from the first equation, we should get Ta plus Tb and we will substitute w by 2 in place of tc in this equation. So, we will have plus w by 2 equal to w or ta plus tb equal to w by 2. Let us call this fifth equation. So, now you see the fourth and fifth equations are only having two unknowns Ta and Tb and we subtract equation number 5 from 4 that is 4 minus 5 will give us 5 Ta minus Ta will be 4 Ta and Tb will get cancelled out and 2 W minus W by 2 will mean 3w by 2 and if you substitute 40 times 9.81 for w we will get 6 will be equal to 588.6 Newton, therefore, Ta will be equal to 147.15 Newtons. Also, 2 Tc is W, therefore, Tc will be equal to W by 2. And that would mean
this will turn out to be 196.20 newtons and from the first equation we will get Tb equal to W minus Ta minus Tc W is 392.4 minus Ta is 147.15 Tc is 196.2 and that will give us 49.05 Newtons. So, we have Ta equal to 147.15 Newtons, Tc equal to 196.20 Newtons. and Tb equal to 49.05 newtons. So, that is our answer. So, thank you for watching and if you like the video, please give your thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.